Okay, so we want to show that these two lines are parallel and then determine if they are coincidence. Well, in order to see if they're parallel, their directions have to be the same. In the Cartesian form that we have, we cannot read these equations at all. We have to rewrite them. And so if I take this first line, this component is good. The next one, I have to have y. I'm going to multiply by negative 1 over negative 1, which makes this negative 4. And this one I'm multiplying by a half over a half, which will give me z plus 1 over 3 halves. And so the direction vector here is 2, negative 4, 3 halves. I want to know if it's parallel to this one. Well, similarly, I have to rewrite this. Again, I'm going to multiply by a half over a half, which gives me x plus a half over 2 equal to y plus 3 over negative 4. It's already in the good form. And here I'm going to go by a quarter and a quarter, which gives me z min oh, minus 5 fourths over 6 divided by a quarter, which this direction vector is 2 minus 4, and that is 3 halves, therefore parallel. Okay, first job done. Now the second job, what it wants to do is I, if they are coincident, a point on this line will also be on this line here. And so if I consider that a point on this first blue line, a point is 3, 1, negative a half. If it satisfies this equation here for all parts, then this point is on this line. And if one of the points is on the line and it's parallel, it will be coincident. So I'm not going to deal with a fractional version. I'm going to just go right straight to this version and plug in x 2 times 3 plus 1 over 4. This is equal to our parameter t, which is equal to 7 over 4. Taking 1, it put it in here. I get 1 plus 3 over negative 4, which is definitely not equal to 7 fourths. Therefore, they are not coincident because these components are not equal for this point here. Okay, let's try another example. Given these two lines, determine if they are intersecting or if they are skew. Alright, so when it's written this form, I find it really hard to read. And so I like to rewrite them into vector equation or parametric equation. This is negative j, so i is 0, negative 3, and negative 2, plus lambda 2, 1, 1. This is the first line. The second line is 1, 2, negative 5, plus mu 1, negative 1, 2. Now, if I look at the direction vectors quickly, that's just confirmation that they are not parallel since they're not scalar multiples. If I want to find the point of intersection or if they're skew, I need to make simultaneous equations. And so I take my x component, 0 plus 2 lambda is equal to 1 plus mu. And so 2 lambda minus mu is equal to 1. This is the equation from the x's. Switching to the y's, I can say that minus 3 plus lambda is equal to 2 minus mu, which rewriting this in the same order, lambda plus mu is equal to 5. And the last one we'll do is the z component. Oh, and so I get negative 2 plus lambda 
equals negative 5 plus 2 mu. Rewriting that, I get lambda minus 2 mu is equal to 3. So I have three equations, two unknowns. If I type them into poly simultaneous, if I don't have a calculator, I can do it the long way. But if I have this, why would I not use it? Let's clear this, and I go 2, negative 1, 1. Plugging them all in at one at a time, making sure you don't make any mistakes. Let's see what we get. And we solve it. No solution. Therefore, we know the lines are skew.